Hi, this is Melissa of Rolo Gaming, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the Ruby's Cube. This is the first of eight videos that are going to go over each of the steps and tell you everything you need to know to solve the Ruby's Cube. It's my hope that after you've studied this series of videos, you will be able to solve your Ruby's Cube. Okay, the first step of solving the Rubik's Cube is to solve the daisy. And by the daisy, I mean that what we're going to try and do is bring all four of the white edge pieces and bring them around the yellow center. And at this point in the process, we we're, not, we're not going to be worried if these petals are aligned with the center colors below. That will come in the next step. So that's the first step we're going to do. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so making the daisy, what we're going to want to do is first put the yellow centerpiece on top, and then we're going to look around the cube for the white edge pieces. And the white edge pieces can be in five different places. You could have an edge piece on the top layer like this. You could have a, a white edge piece on the middle layer like this one. You could have it on the bottom layer like this one. Or you could have it in the underneath position like this one or it could already be in the top uh, centered around the yellow uh, middle, uh, which is where we're, what we're trying to do here. So um, let me start with the, the situation where it's on the middle layer because that's actually um, a, the ideal place to work. So when you have a white edge piece on the middle layer, all you need to do at that point is rotate it into place. And the good thing to, to know about uh, the middle layer is that you can put that, you can uh, rotate that around the cube so that you could put this white piece anywhere you need it. So you could rotate and put it into any position around the cube like so. So we'll go ahead and put that one into place. Okay, and now let's look for uh, the next edge piece. And so here's one on the bottom layer. And so when it's on the bottom layer, all you need to do is rotate it so it's on the side. So you can either rotate it uh, clockwise like this or counterclockwise like this and that'll put it in the middle layer and then it'll be ready to shift into place so we can put it around the yellow center like so so then we'll look for another piece um, let's see uh, this uh, um, this one, we actually, we, we ended up moving, so let me show you what would you, you would do if this were on the top like this. So if it were on the top, then you would just do that same move, but in reverse, where you uh, either go clockwise to put it on the middle layer, or counterclockwise, one rotation, to put it on the middle layer. And then from there, you can, you can rotate it to where you need it. So for example, in this position, I don't need to put it here because there's already a white piece here, so let's rotate this like this. And then you can put this white piece up here by rotating like that. Okay, so now we've got three petals around the yellow center and then the last piece is on the bottom. And so when it's on the bottom, um, all you need to do is rotate it into place, making sure that you're underneath the slot you're trying to fill. So if you know if it was sitting here like this, you would you would first rotate it so it was under the spot you're trying to fill and then just do a 180 degree rotation. Now we've got all four white petals around the yellow center and we have created the daisy.